Hello and welcome. My name is Mandy Van Havermat and I am an independent demonstrator with Stampin' Up! from Great Eagle, Minnesota. And I am here today to share two more cards from the uh, July 2022 Paper Pumpkin. It's uh, titled Sending Good Thoughts. It is uh, a nautical themed um, uh, paper pumpkin kit and I have got two more um, alternative cards for you. So let's get started. Of course, with any paper pumpkin kit, the stamps are photopolymer. So we like to have our stamp and pierce mat uh, available to give our stamps a nice, good, crisp impression. So you always want to use your stamp and pierce mat when you are stamping with photopolymer or something similar to a stamp and pierce mat. So here's what we've got. I am going to show you the elements that I'm going to use for this card. I'm going to use one of the fresh freesia card bases. And then I have the, um, I'm just kind of putting this one together a little different than what is on the instructions. Um, but I've got the blue background that's embossed oh so beautifully. I love the ocean and the clouds and the speckles. I just think that's a beautiful, all the card fronts on this one are embossed and I just love it. And then I've got one of the banners, one of the gray large jars and a piece of the coral that matches the uh, blue and the uh, Bermuda Bay and the fresh freesia. So let's put our card together. And this is a really simple card, honestly. What I'm going to do is I am going to attach this down directly onto my background. So I'm going to move my stamp and pierce mat for just a second. And I'm going to use my snail adhesive. I love that snail adhesive. It works so well. You can absolutely use the glue dots that come with your paper pumpkin kit. I just prefer to use uh, my seal. So to each their own, There, like I've always say, there is no right way, there is no wrong way to craft. It's all in what you're comfortable with and what you find beautiful and fun to make. That's the main game, na main name of the game, right? It has to be fun. If it's not fun, <laughs> it's not in my bag then. So, okay, I am going to add my piece of coral there. I think that coral is so pretty. I just love it. And I'm just going to tack it down. I'm not going to get too um, particular because I'm going to place that bottle over the top of it. So I think actually what I'm going to do Let's put a piece, this is so cheating. I'm gonna put a couple pieces of seal right there. I'm going to press that down and then I'm gonna hide it with my bottle. I know, right? Nobody sees behind these things, guys. You don't have to be <laughs> too particular. That will work just wonderfully. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. In fact, I think I'm gonna bump that up just a little bit and then I'm going to put my um, sentiment on here along with some ribbon. I'm also going to bump that up. So let's find some dimensionals. And I love the message in a bottle theme um, that kind of goes with this kit. Uh, isn't that fun? Wouldn't it be so much fun to find a message in a bottle? I don't know if you've ever found a message in a bottle, but I think they are just such neat stories when you hear them. Um, people finding them and I don't know if they're true or not, but <laughs> they make for fun stories, right? So let's place that right on here, right over where we put our adhesive before. So there's that. All right, and now I am going to do some stamping on my little banner here. And actually I'm going to find, I've got a piece of paper that I'm going to use as scratch paper because I'm going to stamp off a little bit. Um, I forgot to pull out my gray. Excuse my reach. I've got basic gray, which um, is the color that's inside of the kit. But what I'm going to do is I'm just using the little, um, it's like the little textury dots kind of thing there. I'm going to stamp it off and then I'm going to stamp it on here. And I just want to see, yeah, that's perfect. Just to kind of give my, my banner a little bit of uh, extra shape, I guess you would say. Kind of like that. I think that's good. 
I think that is going to make me happy. I'm going to leave my basic gray out just in case I do want it anymore. And then I'm going to use Pacific Point. And I'm going to stamp the sentiment that comes with the set, wishing you all the best. Perfect for a birthday, um, a wedding, just an all occasions card. A pretty good generic um, sentiment and I love it. And I love the font on it. So I think that that looks wonderful and I don't think I'm gonna add any more texture otherwise it's gonna get too busy. But I am going to add a little bit of the twine that came with. And this is the roll that came with. It's the, um, it looks to me exactly like the linen thread that's in the main catalog. Um, and what I like to do, I, I guess I've already unrolled it, but I like to take my snips because when you, un, when you take it right off the spool, it seems to always be so kinked up and it's hard to work with. I just go through and I do that. Kind of breaks the fibers up a little bit, makes it a little bit easier to work with. So I'm going to wrap that around maybe a couple of times here. And I always leave my um, ribbon and my thread, I try to leave it on the spool as I'm tying it. I don't um, cut and then tie my knot. I tie my knot and then cut. So it usually results in a little bit less waste and I always get the right amount of thread or ribbon that I'm using. I'm gonna wrap that around one more time. Just because I want it to be just a little bit thicker. There we go, perfect. I like that better. If you only wanna wrap it around twice, feel free. So, give it just a nice basic little tie, little bow, like you would tie your shoe, right? Okay. Give me a bow. <laughs> sometimes they work right off the bat and sometimes we need to give them a little bit of encouragement, but that's okay. All right, this one twisted up a little bit. Let's see if we can make it, make it happy, huh? There we go, better. Seems like the smaller we make our loops, the worse, like the harder it is to get them to lay nicely, so. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Okay, let's put some dimensionals on that as well. And I'm going to cheat and so that this string, my linen thread doesn't slip, I'm actually going to put my dimensional right on top of that linen thread. Hold it down just a bit. One right in the middle because we don't want the center to sag. I'm gonna line it up right with the top there. Beautiful. Uh-oh. I've got a dimensional on top of a dimensional. Let's get that guy out of there. Otherwise, it's going to be super thick. We'll move him up just a bit. There, ah, so much better. There we go, all right. And I think I'm going to add just a few little um, extras on there. Let's see, where did I put them? I'm going to use the iridescent rhinestones. Rhinestones, my goodness, I don't know what that was coming out of my mouth. It's rhinestones, I say. <laughs> oh my word. I think these look so pretty with this, these colors. They pick up so nicely. So let's put a few of those on in no particular order, right? Two on there, one down there. Oh, so pretty. So there is card number one. Let's mess with our bow maybe a little. There we go. There, huh? there it is. There's card number one. My card alternate number one. I love it. I love those colors together. So pretty. Okay, let's move on to card number two. 
Card number two, I am actually going to create an ocean scene. So I've got the card base that is Bermuda Bay, and then I've got a, a basic white panel, and this is cut at four by five and a quarter. I'm also going to be using, I cut the purple panel that's textured, um, this here one, I cut it just down the center at, at, so right down the center, so at two inches. So I've got a two inch strip of that. I've got one of these banners that I'm going to be using for the sentiment, and I've got one of the little tiny bottles. So first things first, I'm going to pull in, I'm going to set my, use my paper here, and I'm going to be using balmy blue and crumb cake to start out with, and then a little bit later I'll be using Bermuda Bay. So we're going to build just a little bit of a ocean scene here on our basic white. So I've got my crumb cake. And I like to start off the page so I get that kind of gunky looking stuff off. And I'm just going to put a little bit of the crumb cake down on the bottom and it's going to look kind of like sand. That's what I'm hoping for anyhow. All right, and I think that's good. And I don't need to go over all the way because I'm going to take this uh, panel here, this two inch panel, and I'm gonna put that right on the side. So I really only am working to color this part. So set that up aside. Then I'm gonna take my balmy blue, and get that off, and then just go in and work it in same thing. And I'm just working that in. It doesn't need to be perfect because it is the ocean and there are all kinds of different shades in the ocean, right? I am more of a lake girl, mostly because I'm from Minnesota. I don't have the ocean by me, but I do love the water. Um, my family and I could pretty much be fish. <laughs> we love the lakes in the summer. In fact, in a couple weeks, we're actually going to be going to the ocean. We're going down to South Carolina. Okay, now I've got an aqua painter. Sorry, start a story and finish it right away. I've got an aqua painter. It just has some water in it, and I want to add a little bit of texture behind that. So I've got a nice wet brush. It's full of water here, and I'm going to, it works best to, when you're flicking it, hit it against something hard. And what's going to happen is it's going to make some water stains on our um, background. So I'm just keep squeezing out the water to make sure my brush is super wet. And let's see here, we're getting a little bit of water on there, which is fantastic. That's exactly what I'm going for. Uh, you can use alcohol for this too. Um, I prefer water just because it makes more of a, uh, more of the look I'm going for and it's, a little it's not going to affect <laughs> other stuff that it hits so if you do get some on other parts of your desk or anything else you're working on so all right I'm gonna let that sit for just a little bit and so I can stamp on it while I'm doing that while I'm waiting for that I should say let's see here I am going to take my um, brown, or my, I'm sorry, my brown. Do not do two things at one time. We're going to work on one thing at one time. I am going to use my crumb cake and I am going to stamp a little message inside of my bottle. Just like this. So I'm using the crumb cake and I'm going to go straight I can't see where my bottle is. There we go. Let's get rid of that guy. I'm going to stamp that right in there. Just like that. So cute. All right. And it doesn't take long for my background to dry. 
just a little bit. So we're going to work on that now. I am going to bring back my slip of paper. I'll turn it over so we can see, so that we don't see the mess. I'm going to use the stars. There's some little starfish. And I'm going to put a few of those down on the bottom. And not a whole lot, because if you put too many, it's going to look kind of just not right. So I'm going to do kind of like that. Maybe one more. Just a little one right there. Okay, just like that. I am going to use, let's see, I'm done with the balmy blue. I'm going to open up my Bermuda Bay. And I'm going to take the little plant. And I'm going to add some of those down in my ocean floor. And I'm going to stamp off a little bit too. So I'm going to do one and then another. And then I'll do one right in there. And then maybe one back here. And I think I'll do one. Let's see. Let's do one there. Stamp it up again. And maybe one over here. And I know that my paper is going to cover that up, but it's going to be kind of a neat look. And I think I'm going to, I think, let's see, maybe one more, maybe one more way up high. So it's just the background. There we go. Okay. Set that aside. I'm going to take my seahorse and I'm going to use my crumb cake for that also. And I'm going to put a couple of seahorses in here. They're so cute. I just love those little guys. Okay. <clears throat> so that is done. And then while I've got my Bermuda Bay open, I'm going to stamp on my banner. And I'm using Thinking of You. So I've got that in my Bermuda Bay. And I'm going to go way over to the edge of my banner. I'm not, I'm actually going to cut my banner off right about in there. So we won't be using the whole entire thing. All right, let's assemble our card. Got all my little pieces here. So I am going to adhere my, my purple just like this onto my card base. So I'm going to put a piece of seal on top of there and then a piece of seal down here because I don't know where. I'm actually going to cut part of this off. Um, I'm not sure where though, wherever I need to. So let's line this up. So now my sticky is, or my paper sticky up on top and it's going to catch the bottom down here just like that. So now I'm going to take my snips and just cut along with the paper. Beautiful, right? All right, so let's fold this and give it a good burnish so it stays nice and crisp and folded nicely. And then this, I'm going to attach my card panel right on there, just like that. Oh, those are such fun colors. Okay. Just make sure it's kind of mostly centered, right? And like I said, I was going to snip this off. So right about, I think I'm going to go right about there. And then this is going to actually go right on there, kind of like that. And I think, again, I'm going to bump it up. So let's start putting this down because this is going to go then on top of that. So let's use some dimensionals. Everything's rolling around there. right about in there. I want it to be under my little seahorse there, but not 
too low. And then I'm going to attach my bottle there. So maybe two dimensionals here, one there. I could have used a half there. Let's use an edge one. Because remember, we like to use the edge of our dimensionals too. We do not throw those away. Those are, that's like another at least 25% of a sheet there. And then while I've got this off, I'm actually going to use a glue dot and just put a little glue dot on the bottom of my bottle too, just to make sure it sticks, put it on the wrong corner, to my, right there. Is that not the cutest thing in the world? And I think I'm going to add just a couple, a little bit of bling on there also. I'm gonna use those iridescent rhinestones because they are so pretty with the water. One, two, and three, just like that. So there is my alternate number two. So let's bring back in the first one. These are my two alternates for this video. I think they turned out so cute. And I've got another video um, you, making a couple of more alternates if you did not see that one first and I will link that to this video so that you can go back and check those out as well. I am again Mandy Van Havermitt and I hope you enjoyed this and I hope to see you again real soon. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.